Alinen. As we have reported, the need for a newer, larger prison facility has been put on the back burner for over two decades. And the longer the issue is not addressed, the more costly it will become. The Manila Correctional Facility not only houses inmates serving out their sentences, but also detainees awaiting trial and sentencing, which account for a majority of the prison population. DEPCOR Director Jose Sanagustin. What's happening right now does hamper. Uh, with regards to overcrowding, we continue to work with the AG in addressing uh, the folks that uh, have been in there as detainees, which are 400 and some of them, uh, to address these people and try to expedite their, their sentencing. San Augustine adds a new prison is something he wants to see built. It's something that's actually needed. We definitely need a new prison. This is not a warning of mine. Uh, since I've been with this agency, it's obvious that a new prison is much needed. This prison was built back around 1967. And it's old. It's old. Uh, the design is not the right design for a prison. DEPCOR has for years shuffled resources to accommodate a growing prison population and aging facility. But definitely it's, it's not a safe prison. Uh, the building is dilapidated. It's, cra it's got cracks. It's got deficiencies. It's got safety problems. And so we continue to repair and we spend a lot of money repairing. While the need for a new prison is not a surprise, Sanagasin has heard criticism that it is not a priority. Bottom line, though, he hopes that the senators can set aside their differences. Senators, please help us, because this is, this is a Guam problem. This is not just DLC. Uh, please help us address a new prison. Uh, it might not be built you know, tomorrow or next year, but at least address it so that we have something in place that... Uh, we can move forward with and, and, and have it built before the real prison collapses. So what is the holdup? Despite several calls to Senator Ben Pangolinan's office, he was not available for comment. At this point, DOC is hopeful the legislation does not die in committee. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tol.